How's it going, guys? This is uh, Shannon, your digital media coordinator here at Keller Williams Palmdale again. Now I'm just going to show you uh, how to access your eEdge website, um, how to edit it as much as possible, utilize it, add photos, pictures, and also uh, communities. Um, so of course, the first thing we want to do is of course go to mykw.kw.com and log in. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. And then after that, in my eEdge control panel, I want to go click on the plus sign in my marketing. Anything having to do with uh, flyers, your campaigns, your website, of course, marketing is always going to be in my marketing. Okay, so you just click on the plus sign here and go to uh, manage eEdge website. Okay, so manage eEdge website, click on that. And of course, uh, you can actually just edit all these fields right here. The first one, uh, titles and descriptions. So let's say when I go to uh, the sell a home page, it says technology handouts. And I want you to memorize that right, um, for a minute. Go down to main text. And a lot of people say, how do I know where my website is? You can just click on view home page. And you can see what your website is called. Okay. And of course, you see all this information here, your local digital meter coordinator, Palmdale, at all this information, and it's going to be shown right here on my homepage or my website. Okay. Also, the cell text. So I click on the cell text. All this information right here is going to be, of course, in the cell text. And you see in the cell text, it says tech handouts right here. That's where that's going to be shown at. Okay. Also, school information. This information right here, when you go back to your website, is going to be shown on this local tab. Okay. Um, so, of course, the first thing I want you guys to do is on the main text, edit this information here. There's going to be a template here for you guys. Edit that information. Um, and also on the cell text, too, the things that you're going to provide. The site images. So, uh, you see this cactus here and this KW. It's actually going to be shown. On the home page, here is the um, logo. Here is the cactus. So that's where that's going to be shown. Uh, community served. I want you to, of course, put all the zip codes possible that you serve. Um, so when I add a community here, uh, let's say I do Palmdale. And I put all the zip codes I know for Palmdale. Let me see, 93551. Uh, add zip code 93550. And then, of course, the rest of the um, zip codes that you know of, uh, of course, put in text at the top of the community page um, if you'd like. Also, put uh, add the center of, uh, of your community. So, of course, we're palmed out. I always, always add the office as your center. And then the URL. And that I would say put in the community's website. So, I would say go up to the city of Palmdale. I'm going to um, highlight that click copy go back to eEdge and then paste that and then click on create URL and then click on save now I'm gonna show you what this does okay I'm actually gonna go back to my website go home refresh and you see it says community served Palmdale when I click on Palmdale here it will actually just give me those listings of those two um, zip codes that I put in and it'll also give the center of that community as well. And then when I click on local, it gives me a link to Palmdale. And when I go on that, it gives me actually gives me a Wikipedia a link to where Palmdale is at. Okay. So that's community served school information. I would say put in here uh, either the names and phone numbers of the schools or just the school name and the link. So the way I do a link, let's say this said uh, Eastside uh, High School, I highlight that, click on this little chain tab, and put in here, uh, paste the Eastside High School's um, uh, website in there, and then I'd actually go on, uh, open up a new web in a new window, so that way when they click on it, it'll go to a new window right here, then click on insert, okay? Um, so let's say if you want to add an image here, uh, let's say I want to add an image right above uh, your local digital media coordinator I'd actually click on first this little image box right here 
then it's going to want a URL. Um, I don't have a URL for my um, picture, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to this website called tinypick.com. So, of course, I want you guys to remember that tinypick.com, which is up here. Then I'm going to choose the, f the file and the picture. That then I'm going to choose that photo. So I'm actually going to choose that photo that I want. Click on open. Then I want to upload. And of course, it's going to give me this little thing to put. So I'm going to put please enter get photo editing effects. So get photo editing effects. Click on upload now. Then it, uh, we want to click on this direct link it's going to give us. So highlight that direct link, copy that, go back to your eEdge website, and then just paste that in there like that. Okay. Then click on insert, and my photo is going to be there. Okay. So when I click on save, uh, it's going to be right there. Of course, I don't want it as big, but just for an example, this is how it's going to look. Okay, and that's how you added a photo. Of course, I want to click on save. That way, it's double checked that it is there. Okay, and let's say I wanted to add a video in instead. So I'm just going to highlight this, delete it. Let's say I want to add a video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to this video right here that I want to uh, add in my website. And then I want to scroll down and I want to click on the share tab right here. So I click on the share tab. Uh, I also want to click on embed because I want to embed it on my website. Okay. After that, make sure this use old text, old old embed text is uh, checked off, and then I want you to copy this uh, whole text. Okay. Then I want to go back to my website, and wherever you want the uh, video to uh, to be, I want you to put uh, uh, six X's, okay, or seven, um, and I'll show you why in a minute. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And that's where I want the, my video to be. And then after that, I'm going to click on this little HTML um, button right here. And you see it gives me this funky um, uh, bunch of code. Uh, but I, I see here I put in my six X's. So that's where I want my website to be. So I'm actually going to highlight all of those. And I'm actually going to paste in that video. Then after that, I'm going to click on Update. Then there is my video. OK, I'm just going to click on Save then view home page and there my video is okay so uh, guys just want you to go in here go down this list and customize everything in here that you possibly can okay and then always remember to click on save and your website should be up and running in no time right thanks guys for watching this video